Okay, here's here's actually a really good question. What year would you say had the best music? I don't know. I really don't. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know what year music might have been the most influential. Yeah, and you can find that out too when you watch Apple TV's new series, 1971. That's the year that music changed everything. I chatted with series producer and director about what's going on. I could see this new revolution coming. It was an anticipation of the idea that everything would go wrong, but that music would prevail. 1971, I don't think the music was a reflection of the times as much as the music also caused the times. They know the music, they just don't know the story. It was so rich politically, but you know, a lot of the issues we've, we're confronted with today were flashing warning lights in 71, and we unfortunately didn't pay enough attention, so we're in the pickle we're in today. But all the writing was on the wall in 71. We just weren't paying enough attention, do you know what I mean? So it was a very, very fulfilling exercise to go, to go into it and realise, you know, that it was, it was that rich. And, um, I mean, it's subjective, you know. Some people think that 88 is the greatest year in the history of music. But, you know, there's, a, there's no denying it's a pretty important year. All these bands were making music referring to protests and the Vietnam War. That was our language. I would like to say something that hasn't been said so much, you know. We never, when we were making it, we never thought of it as the past. It, when, when, we, when we left the edit suite, you'd walk down the street and you'd hear what's going on playing out of a, out of a car window. And then you'd get on a bus and hear somebody listening to It's a Family Affair. You know, you'd, you'd, you'd go round the corner and somebody would be listening. You know, I remember in the middle of lockdown, somebody was playing You've, You've Got a Friend became a big kind of song of lockdown because it was about, you know, kind of connection against the loneliness of lockdown. So, so it never felt like the past. It always felt like it was the, the music was a portal to bring the past into the present and vice versa. The peace and flowers love thing was over. I wasn't a soldier, I was a musician. How can I use my music to help change things? All power to the people. I don't think you'll ever see a creative burst like that music ever again. These were not just players, they were cultural icons. We have come through something. And if we can get this far, we can get further. They took this on and things changed. Yes, it'd be nice to have John Lennon still around making great albums and Marvin Gaye. But the actual politics of the moment was, was scary. The music was not a soundtrack. It was much more than that. I love that scream. I listened to that whole song for his scream at the end. Anyway, 1971, the year that music changed everything, is a new series with eight 45-minute historical musical documentary episodes that are rated TVMA for language and drugs and sex and stuff. I mean, it was the 70s, man. And it's coming to Apple TV Plus tomorrow, and also tomorrow, I'll have my review of it, because I watched it. Okay, good, because <laughs> that's what I was going to ask next, but I'll save it. Save, save it. it. Save it. <laughs> okay, I will but save it. How about your best Roger Daltrey scream? Yeah! Actually, that, that was good. That was actually, that, surprisingly that good. That scream is awesome. He, I yeah, listen to that song. He does have that. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. John, Ent <laughs> John Entwistle's got a good scream too, but he doesn't have a microphone very often. Yeah, he just kind of. <laughs> yep. Rich, just you're the best. You I could smash my, my laptop like Pete Townsend. Like, yeah. Well, Pals knows how to do it. Maybe. Keith Moon knows how to break some teeth. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Rich. Yeah.